Monday, everybody. Chris Falcon here, and this is your Monday morning memo. I don't have any funny videos for you today. But instead, I'm going to go ahead and play for you a video. I hope you enjoy it. We will be back to our regularly scheduled programming next week. And we will be back with our regularly... It's all right, good. And we will be back with our regularly scheduling program next week. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. So, Glenview Chamber of Commerce, Chris Falcon here. I'm here next to Karen Patterson. Was it a good two-year run? Did you did you like it? Yeah, I really enjoyed every minute of it. I'm really excited about what we accomplished, but I'm also happy to pass it on to you because I think it's time. You, you were, I believe, the seventh female president mm -hmm. in almost 100 years. Yeah. Was that something that you thought about going into it? I did not think about that until the installation when um, a representative from Tammy Duckworth's office was at our installation. And I thought, I've been to a lot of these installations and senators do not send their uh, little cohorts to show yeah. up and congratulate the president. Yeah, you, know, so. you did such a great job setting an example for everyone else and how to lead and how to bring people together. Well, I, I tried really hard to create a culture of inclusivity and making sure that people just felt comfortable when they showed up to events, even if the, the, it was their first time. Because I remember probably 20 years ago was the first time I went to a chamber event and I was totally a duck out of water. Nobody talked to me. Nobody looked at me. I was trying to find somebody who I knew that I could talk to. And it's not like that now. Uh, well, what do you think you want to accomplish first? Um, you know what? The first thing I want to do, I really want to stabilize what it is that we have that's working. Mm -hmm. I think that the Glenview Chamber is an incredibly powerful force and entity in the community, even for those that don't really know what the chamber does, mm -hmm. they feel the presence. They just don't really know that we're behind it. And with our new decade coming in and the changes in our business culture, what do you think you can do to help that? You know, I think people are afraid of technology, mm -hmm. and, right? They're, they're <laughs> afraid of technology. And guess what? We, we can't be. Yeah. We have to look for ways to take challenges and have them become opportunities. Mm -hmm. This ship has sailed. Technology yeah. is here. You can't beat it, so you might as well join it. And mm -hmm. so that means educating yourself and figuring out how it is that you can utilize technology to help grow your business, yep. um, create a better experience for your customers, and higher levels of engagement. And so I want to analyze where you know our existing members are as far as their education base mm -hmm. when it comes to utilizing technology, and then figure out what it is that we can bring to the table to help them better take advantage of these opportunities. Yeah. Look, if you're running your business and you're in that business, it's hard sometimes, especially if you're not from the generation that just grew up with, mm -hmm. you know, a device sewed to your hand. So I get it. It's challenging, yeah. but there's so many things that we can be utilizing today. And I think it's part of our responsibility as the chamber, if we are going to be, you know, the most innovative connector of businesses and people in Glenview to, to help educate them. Yeah. You know, That's bridge great. that gap. So I'm excited to do that. Good for you. Well, we're really excited about having you, and I think you're going to really uh, make your mark very quickly. Thank you. Thank you very much.